Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Oracle uh, client on Windows. So in my environment, I have a database, uh, an Oracle database server installed on, on a Linux machine. And I would like to connect, connect to that server from my Windows machine. So for this, I need an Oracle client. So the first thing you need to do is download and unzip the Oracle client from the Oracle website. So I have downloaded my Oracle client from this uh, page on the Oracle website. I'm going to put uh, this link on the description of this video. So if you are interested in the 64-bit uh, client, you can download either of these, the client home or the client. And same thing if you are interested in the 32-bit client. There is a difference between the client home and the client uh, files here for the Oracle client. I'm probably going to make a video about this, but for the moment, just for me, I'm going to download the client home. You can download the client uh, file if you want to, and you can use both to connect to the Oracle database server. I have already downloaded uh, my file, so I'm going to unzip it right now. And then launch the installation. This Windows machine is a little bit slow because it's a virtual machine that doesn't have lots of resources. When the package is unzipped, open it, scroll down, find this setup uh, file and launch it as administrator. On this step you need to specify the uh, Oracle home user. I'm just going to use the uh, Windows built-in account but, but you can create a new Windows uh, user or use existing Windows uh, another existing Windows user. Click next. On this step you will be asked to specify the installation location. I'm going to use uh, the following location apps client but you can choose whatever location you like then click next here it's telling me that the specified uh, oracle home is outside of oracle base that's fine i'm going to say yes continue on this step the uh, Oracle client installer is going to, to perform some prerequisite checks. On this page of the installer, you have a summary of the installation. You can save the response file if you want. I'm going to call it Oracle Client 19C. And then I hit save. I'm going to save it under. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave it here. Save. And then click install to start the installation. The installation is going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video and then resume when it is finished. Here the, uh, the client installer is asking for access to the network. Click on allow access to grant it this privilege. And with this, we have finished successfully the installation of the Oracle client on our Windows machine. Now our Oracle client is ready to be used to connect to a database server. I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching.